welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So you guys, today I am going to do everything I do in every show and then some. So prepare yourself. Um, first and foremost, if you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with loved ones on the other side, the call-in number is 845 277 9131. Yep, 845-277-9131. Once you get through, push that one button, the button number one, so that uh, I know that you have a question to ask and I will be happy to uh, help you connect with a loved one or answer a question for you. Okay, next, I will never reach out to you on social media, never ever. Um, I will respond if you are on one of my social media pages. I try to respond to everybody, but you know, I will never reach out and ask you for anything. So please don't get scammed. If you would like to join the show live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday, every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. I might be playing with the times a little bit just to see you know, just to see um, what what happens with them. It's been a suggested to me um, that I try different time slots, and I just might do that, especially since we're into the summer now. Um, in the in the Americas, we're in the summer. Okay. Um, okay. So today, uh, the songs that I'm hearing, and Caroline, the song I sent for you on YouTube. Oh, by the way, yes, yeah, sorry. You can join live on YouTube and join the chat, which is going absolutely crazy right now. I'm like, dang, dang, dang. oh yeah, yes, Caroline. I was just going to get to that, Caroline. So I, I, I hear, I heard this song for Caroline in the chat, and it, I know of the song, but I'm not horribly familiar with it. And I called it Jack the Knight, and I think she's right. It's Mac. The knife, which <laughs> sounds about right for me with music. Um, so yes, sorry, sorry, that is it. Um, that's the song. Uh, so I'm sorry that Caroline, I did the, the title wrong, but that is the song for you. Okay, if you would like to join, um the show live via YouTube, you can do that and join in the chat. Everybody in there is, I mean, they're so awesome, you guys. Everybody in the chat, I just love them. We have Jay Francis, Caroline, who is just so sweet. She's working on this invention right now. That is, so Caroline, keep going with that. Svetlana, welcome to the show. Um, Isabella, Elizabeth, Patrick, hey, Patrick. Mimi, Jessica, Rebecca, um, Elizabeth, Rebecca, yeah, Anne and Terry are here. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to take callers and answer their question. You get one question about life, love, career, finance. Please make the question a little bit exact, a little bit. Um, I don't do the, tell me about my next three months. That's a full on reading, which I'm happy to do for anybody, but more of an exact, like, uh, you know, just an exact, am I going to get the job? I, am I going to this? Is this going to happen? Something a little bit more exact. If they bring in more information for you, I will 100% give you more information. I will. I'm that person. But, um, <clears throat> or connect with a loved one up above. Okay. Okay. I am going to do, um, oh, you guys, real quick. I did this. Uh, I was on Marla Martinson. She's the matchmaker and the, the mystical matchmaker. And we did a podcast after Monday show. It was so fun. Number one, so fun. And I channeled almost every answer I gave. I know it was information coming from above. It is not as clean. Well, no, it's not bad. It's not, 
it's not bad at all. Now that I think about it, it's not bad at all. But it is adult. Like I wouldn't want a 12-year-old listening to it, but it is very adult um, content about relationships. So please go um, listen to that. It is on my Facebook and I'm trying to figure out how to put it on my um, website because I'm not very techy at all, but I do all my own tech stuff. It's fun. Yeah. Mm. The challenges. Yeah. I usually end up doing things three or four times before they actually like, I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. And then the next time I go to do it, I have to do it three or four times again because I forget. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Okay. I'm going to go to loved ones up above. I'm going to do names first. The names I say, it may be your name. And if it is your name, you're going to instantly know who is sending you that name. You'll feel it or you'll think of them. Or, and, or it could be their name, or it could be a name of like your child. Sometimes I'll get like for Heather, um, I'll get her, her child's name or whatever. So if, if it's, if it's a name, you know, and you're in the chat comment, let me know. It's a name, you know, deet, 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 tap those keys. And then if it is a, uh, a name you don't know, that's okay. Um, because I'm also going to do songs after that. It's that kind of day, folks. Here we go. And by the way, um, right before, like, three minutes before the show started, the dress that I was wearing popped. And I had to change. <clears throat> so this is it. This is this was the first thing I could I grabbed. It was like, what did you, I just grabbed this and put it on? Like seriously, didn't I'm not gonna tell. I we're just gonna leave that there. Um. Uh, okay, I am going to do uh, the names. The names are Georgia. The first name is Georgia. Now, I am going to say this could be a state also because they have been giving me um, names of shows also lately. So they're expanding. But if your name is Georgia, their name is Georgia, or you live in visiting, I don't know, Georgia, whatever Georgia means for you. Maybe you had a great time in Georgia with this person. If it fits, it fits. Don't try to put it in a little bitty box with a bow. Like, let it fit. Okay, the next name is Francis, and the next name, oh, I have an uncle named Francis, but we didn't call him that. Um, then the next name is, I'll, I'll say that later. Whew. The next, I cut, okay, they're not going to stop. The next, the next name I'm hearing, it's, I, I, the next word I'm hearing, whether they're referring to the color or it's actually a name or something that reminds you is turquoise, turquoise. I feel like I'm on a game show right now. <laughs> I really do. Okay. The next thing, the next name is, um, I can't, I can't say that I yet. Um, Okay, uh, they're saying it very slowly for me. Ayalante or Ayalante, Ayalante, Ayalante is the name that I, I think I'm hearing. Um, if it sounds close or familiar, please know it's for you. I know some, some, some of these names or what I'm getting, it's going to be very good for some people, but maybe not everybody's going to be able to um, uh, relate to them. Okay. Um, and then Michaela, Lindsay, and then I'm getting, um, they're getting ready to channel, folks. I can feel them coming in right now. They're getting ready to channel. So I'm going to, we may channel and then do the songs because I can feel them. They're already like right to here with me. 
Okay, so on Monday's show, I channeled, like, just let the angels come in and speak. And I'm going to do that again, uh, obviously, today, because they're they're coming in right now. Okay, here we go. Um, if I close my eyes, it's because my eyes blink a lot while I channel. So I just want you to know that that's what's going on here. So, who? <clears throat> so we um, are going to start now. And the first and foremost of importance for you to know is that as you see everything, it is not. And as you see everything, it is. If you take a moment and you look at it with a different decision in your mind, everything you see changes. We want you to understand that as you move forward on this plane or in this dimension, that you are allowing yourself to move forward as a person who is supposed to be here in a creative way and to always create what it is that you want, when you want it, and how you want it. Not to compromise on what you want because others may want something differently. We want to remind you that your visions are given to you for you. They were part of your plan before you came into existence. If you have a vision for something, we don't care how material or non-material it is. Hold that vision. For that vision is going to bring you to the light and what you want in your life. <clears throat> As you move forward, please know that your purpose and your vision is yours exclusively. Do not falter, do not waver, and do not think it is not there for you, that it's a fantasy or some sort of um, dream, like, oh, this is what I want, but I might not get it. You will get it if you hold the vision and then just N the knowing, the knowing with the vision. Allow yourself to be in that place where you have the knowing, not the wishing, not the thinking, but the knowing it has already been done. There is nothing that they will show you, we will show you that is not for you. Everything that we bring into your mind, into your vision, into your vision is for you. It is time for you to create again. Do not let what's going on in the external affect what you are creating on the internal. I think that's it. I think that's everything. No, they're not gone yet. They're pausing. <sighs> we will be bringing you signs and synchronicities to show you that you are on the right path. If things are difficult or they don't move forward with the progress that you are hoping for or in a progressive way, that means that you have to change the way you're doing it or perhaps you're on the wrong path to get to what you want. There is no relationship, there is no love, there is no thing, no work, no thing in your existence that is supposed to be of turmoil. It is supposed to be of peace. That is how you know you are on the right path and you are headed in the right direction. Allow yourself to let those things that do not fall with you away from you. Allow yourself to move forward regardless of who's willing to go forward with you. Allow yourself to take not only steps, but leaps and bounds into the direction that is your purpose without worrying about who will be happy, who will be sad, who will be by your side. You were not brought into this existence to drag people with you or to have people hold you back because it's not their vision. 
You were brought into this existence for your purpose, for your dreams, for your life. Everybody else has their life that they can follow their path. And it is unique to each and every individual. We are asking you now to find that inside of you, which brings out the opening of your eyes, the popping of your eyes. When you think of it, your eyes get big like a child. And to follow that without hesitation, without second thought. We are asking you this now. It is time. It is time. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go to the songs. Okay. That you guys just, for those of you who are, um, they have been asking me for a really long time to allow them to channel on the show. And I've been a little nervous because some people think that's weird, <laughs> but it is actually what I do. That is actually, that is actually all of what I do is channel, sit and let them speak through me. Sometimes I let them really speak through me. So there will be a lot more of that on the show, um, beginning, middle and end. And I may do pop ups with just channeled messages on TikTok and on YouTube. So please, um, Please know that. Please know that that a lot more of their messages are going to come through to you. And the biggest message that we would like to tell you is to get out of fear. See, she's <laughs> sorry. OK, to get out of fear. There is no such thing as fear. There is a hesitation or I am doing it. I am hesitating. I am stopping myself with excuses or I am doing it. That is all there is. We want you to stop hesitating, stop having excuses, and move forward. If this way doesn't work, try this way, try this way, try this way until you get there. Remember, there is not one path. There are many paths that will lead you. It's the one that is most congruent for you. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Now we are going to go into the songs. Once again, we're going to do these songs. We're all get there. Um, I'm hearing um, the song. I can't even think of the words. They are making me just do the whole beginning to the to the Rocky song. I think that's the Rocky song and I'm not even getting the words to this song. What are the words? Da -na -na, na -na -na. <laughs> I can't get the words. Well, I think everybody knows just by the beat of that. Um, okay, the next, the next song is the We Are The Champions. Do, do. Buddy, you're a poor man, rich man, living in the, in the streets. Gonna be a big man someday. Got mud on your face. Big disgrace. Kicking your can. <laughs> that place, please make it, please make it stop. <laughs> Don't make me sing anymore. It's the We Will Rock You song. <laughs> you guys, I just need to totally confess. Um... I don't love singing. I do it for them and I do it for you. I know I cannot sing and it's not my favorite thing to do. And I know it's like my least of anything I can do. That is the least of my skills, abilities, talents. There's zero there, zero. So, okay. The next song is... Um... <clears throat> And again, these songs, okay, so I'm sorry. These songs could be songs that you listen to with somebody from above. They could be the answer to a question. They could be a song you love or they loved, okay? Uh, or it could be telling you where you are in your life and, and to just to keep going. Okay, then I'm hearing Michael Jackson, just Mike, anything by Michael Jackson. This person just loved anything. If you would have put Michael Jackson on, they would have just been up 
uh, dancing and doing all the Michael Jackson moves and um, just anything by Michael Jackson. Okay. And then uh, then the oh my gosh, I haven't heard that song in so long. At the Copa Copa Cabana. <laughs> And then the song, Love's in the Air. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they're making me sing. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the song. Okay, then we're just going to cut the songs. We are cutting the songs there. <laughs> they would do songs all day long. I'm not even kidding. They would. It's, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Here we go, everybody. I'm going to start to take callers and just a quick li little reminder. One question and or connection to a loved one on the other side. I'm going to alternate <clears throat> songs with questions on in the chat. So if you are asking a question in the chat, it's going to take me a moment to try to get back to the the first question. And if, if you asked at the very beginning of the show or pre-show, pre, please redo your question and let me know you're still here. As soon as I say your name and I'm answering a question, let me know you're still here because if you're not here, I'm not answering the question. It's just that easy. Nobody else wants your answer except for you. So if you're not here, it's only fair. I don't, I don't answer. Okay, I'm going to go 509. 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. Good morning. My name is Erica and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey, Erica. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I should do medium. Um, hopefully he can answer my question that way or if I should just be direct and ask my question. Okay, what's the name of the person you're trying to connect with? Jose. Jose, and what's the question? Um, I guess I wouldn't have a question, just whatever okay. you would want. <laughs> okay, that is so fair. Okay, the first thing Jose wants to say to you is that... Um, let uh, Well, okay, Erica, whatever this means for you, let go and let love, let go and let love. And I think what he's saying is let love in, let go and let love in. Um, I do feel like, I do feel like I'm hearing something about work. There's something about work and to, uh, uh -huh. Erica, what's going on with you at work? I want to make sure I'm getting the right message for you. What, Tell me your like very as quickly as you can. Your what what would your question about work be? Um, basically, um, I I work in a group and it's a group of four of us. But now they um, only require three and one to a different place. And I feel like I was harassed by my coworker because he's been doing this a few years already. And it's a seasonal. It's a seasonal job. So I was kind of wondering if I should. Um, raise up and um, speak to my upper management about it um, just because he was so passive aggressive and I just don't feel like um, you know he feels entitled and I feel like that's not fair but I don't know if they would care to be honest okay I don't know because he Th feels like mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing that with me he feels like mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you it if you say something, it'll make your work dynamic more difficult. Okay. If you plan on staying, don't say anything, but instead, don't take it personally. So I'm going to do a clearing for you, everybody listening, re-listening, watching. So anybody who this clearing will help, it's going to ha help them. And that is we take things personally. I get a yes. Let's clear that. Um, all that caused this and kept this is uh, has healed, cleared, and released. And I get a no. Now, Erica, I know what people will say. Well, he's treating me this way. It is personal to me. Yes, correct, correct. But we take a step back and we go, this, this, uh, 
this person, this Farfig Newton probably treats everybody this way. So this is just their personality and how they treat everybody, how we feel about it or react to it. That's our power and our control. We don't have to react or if somebody does something, we don't have to own what they do. Okay. We don't have to in any way, uh -huh. shape or form own what they do. That's, that's their behavior. So if somebody who is, has some sort of, let's just say mental illness treats us badly, we go, oh, well, they're mentally ill. So it, it doesn't count. Do the same thing with this person. Like, um, this person has, you know, this passive aggressive behavior. That's not about me. They're not only doing it to me, they'd be doing it to everybody in front of them. That's going to help. Now, if you go to somebody about this, it's not going to help you. It's going to hurt you in the long run. Get through what you can. And then just whenever this person says something passive aggressive, look at them very innocently and go, oh, how, how did you mean that? Don't say, what did you mean by that? Say, I'm sorry, how did you mean that? I want to make sure I understand you correctly. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all you yeah, have to that's, do. That's, that's why I was. That's why I was complicate, um, contemplating whether I should or not speak up because he has said many times like, "Oh, this is I own this place." Basically, at the entitled, and then he's like, "It's not about you doing the job; it's about you networking." Basically, who you know, and then also he kept mentioning a previous employee that used to work here, and he basically did that the same shit to her. He's like, um, oh, yeah, I complained about her enough and rallied everybody to complain about her until, you know, she never got rehired because it's just a seasonal every summer. And so that really ticks me off um, that I'm basically going to be in the same situation. Like, I already know that they're not going to rehire me ever again. And that's what I hate because I actually care about doing the job. And he encourages the other teammates to not do the job. So in reality, they're just not doing the job that they're supposed to. And like you said, it's not about you doing the job. You know, we, the, the it's not about that. It's basically. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that, okay. that's kind of why I was like, oh, I don't know if I should no. talk about it. Absolutely not. Erica, here's what I'm going to tell you. And please listen carefully to what I'm going to say. Um, you have some squeaking in the background. So I kind of um, muted you so that, the squeaking wouldn't go on um, in the audio. Here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes the universe will put somebody like this in our path to move us, not to move them. So if this person is doing this and they're rallying other people that you work with to do this, it's, it's not time for that person to leave. You've outgrown the immaturity of this group and there is something better for you. Even though you care about this and it is something you probably want to continue and you do care about the job, there will be other opportunities for you that will be much, much better. When things start to get difficult and this way, in this way, it may be our angels telling us it's time for you to take your next step and move on. Now, I am going to repeat again. If you do say something, it will just make it worse with everybody there. And, you know, who wants to get into a he said, she said sort of thing. Nobody does. So don't take it personally. Clearly, he's already told you this is how he handles himself. And that is, that's about him, not you. And the biggest thing I can say, make sure you secure a different position for next summer. Okay, I'm going to go to the next, the first online question is from Elizabeth. <clears throat> 
Okay, she wants to know what does my future love life look like? Um, will I see or talk to my guy col colleague? I think it's college college friend again. I was too shy in college to date and think of him. But okay, so what does your future lo uh, love life look like? And will you talk to this college guy again? Uh, typically, I answer only one question, Elizabeth. I don't know if those two questions are related. But I feel like the college guy, mm, not so much. Maybe if you reach out, but I think his circumstances are not circumstances that will allow a productive relationship with you. Um, but your future love life is looking good as long as you, as long as you can find, okay, they, they keep saying the same thing in different ways. So, so get out of your own way. Don't self-sabotage, which we all do. And in, in this, this thing that you wrote, like I was too shy, I was too whatever to date and whatever. So if we, we all have our own thing, we all get in our head about things about ourselves or about the dating situations or whatever it is. Um, so if you can get out of your own way with that, if you can get out of your head with that, it will be amazing for you and you will find a path straight into the arms of somebody quite magnificent is what I'm hearing. So um, for you and everybody else that is part of the show, uh, we get in our own way. I get a yes. We self-sabotage. I get a yes. Let's clear both of those. All that caused and kept this has healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, and release that. So for those of you who are new and don't know, the clearings are done by your angels. They come in and take the energy out that no longer, <laughs> no longer serves you. <laughs> and I always really, really feel these clearings. So please, uh, please know that. Um, I'm going to go to Isabella, you're going to be next, but I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, this is Kate. Hey, Kate, how are you? Good. Good. Um, I have a funny one. I, um, you know, I've been house sitting and something's been happening on the first day when I enter a new house and the, um, smoke detector will like, you know, like when the battery dies and it be starts beeping and it happens the first day I'm in a new house and it's hidden somewhere. Like the homeowners thought the smoke detector was dead and it'll just be in a drawer somewhere or even in the garbage. And I'm running around the house going, where the hell, where is this noise coming from? And it's happened three times now. So, so I'm going to, it's got someone. I, it is. Me. I'm actually getting, it's a father. It's, it's a father coming through to say, Hey, oh, <laughs> it's a father coming through to say, Hey, so that's your, that's what it is, Kate, that that's who it is coming through for you. Okay, love. Okay. Funny. And so what is he, what else is he saying? Uh, is it just making a joke with me? Or? He's just letting you know he's there traveling, going from place to place with you. He's just letting oh, you know he's there. Definitely. When they do things like that, they just are letting us know like, hey, I'm here. I'm still around. No matter where you go, I'll be there. Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So I'm just getting... And um, a couple... Of oh, go ahead. I'm just getting that it's a uh, a father that's coming in and spending time with you and letting you know, that, or your father, not a father, um, letting you know that they are there and they are going, like, no if the, the message I'm getting, Kate, is no matter where you go, I'll be there. Kind of like a stalker, but not a stalker. <laughs> um, kind of like just letting you know they're there. 
Kate. That's the message that I'm getting for you. So I hope that's helpful for you, Kate. And please remember, everybody, um, it's one, one question per call, one connection per call, and one question online just because there are so many people waiting and I want to make sure I can get to as many people as I possibly can um, in the during the show. So the next one is from Isabella. Hi, Tony. On Monday, you said my dad had a warning for me. What is it? Anything I should look out for? Also, any general advice? You know what, Isabella, when I channel or when I'm doing a show from one show to the next, I from one minute to the next, I don't remember. I'm going to be honest, but I will ask your dad if there is a warning for you. Yes. What is it? a car? Okay. Isabella, the, the biggest warning that here's what I'm getting right away. Um, and thank you for re-asking. Um, what I hear is yes and car. And what I'm going to say is, you know, just when you're driving, make sure or in a vehicle, make sure you're aware of all of your surroundings. Don't be distracted. Oh, I didn't think it was going to go there. Don't be distracted in your vehicle. OK, don't be distracted at all in your vehicle. Make sure that you are paying attention to your surroundings and um, make. Make. Make smart choices. Make smart choices. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say everybody, if you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. That's the number to ask a question on the show. If you would like a private session, please go to my website, um, T O N I G dot info tony g dot info and the g it's a g as in girl um so tony g dot info is where you can book your private sessions um so you guys before i take the next caller i want to say there's a movie out and i want you to read the synopsis or watch the trailer before you go see this movie to make sure it's it's not too much for you, but it's called The Sound of Freedom. I'm going to see it this weekend, but it's getting amazing reviews and it's based on true facts. It's a truth. It's a truth movie. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And once, if you do go see this movie, Everything we're seeing going on in front of us, its that is the distraction for what this movie is about. What this movie is based on, everything they keep throwing in our face is a distraction for us not to get here. The people who made this movie, I guess they spent three years in court trying to get it released. That's how much truth there is in this movie. Just make sure it's something you can personally handle before you go watch it, before you sit down in the seats, because it's it's a big, sensitive subject. Okay, next caller, uh, 111, 111, 111. Hello. Hey, hi, how are you? Hi, Ms. Tony. Uh, I've heard you before, first time, press one. Uh because I want to know who you're challenging. And you say angels. So I was like, wow, this is just wonderful. I hope you do that again because I'm so into the angels and they're always assisting me, helping me. You have a beautiful gift. Oh um, but I've been a fan you. for yours for you two and a half years now. Oh my First time talking to you, though. Thank <laughs> First you so time. Much. Thank you. That's so yeah. sweet. So, um, sweetie, how can I help you today? What question? Oh, or... I'm sorry? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry about to interrupt you. Yes, Miss Tony, I have a question, please. Mm -hmm. And and 
and uh, it's, it's so nice. You it's for it's, you've been very inspiring. Uh, so my question is, I, I have a, a male friend. I hope that his heart is mellow. Uh, do you see? Uh, would the angels tell me uh, if you see him? You see him coming to visit me, like any between now and August, September of this year. You know what? I, on that, on that, uh, I'm hearing that that uh, it's. Phone call. <clears throat> I don't feel like that's going to happen. I feel like um, there, it's um, that that's not a possibility um, for whatever reason at this time. Um, I do feel like I'm going to ask you a weird question. Where is your male friend located? Uh, by the eastern coast of Florida. Okay. Um, for whatever reason, um, I feel like, I feel like, and this is the best way I can say this, that he, his circumstances will not allow that, whether it's no matter what it is, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it, they're just, it's not going to allow for him to be able to travel during this time frame. <clears throat> so um, I don't know how far in the future it will be before your friend can travel, but it's going to, the way it sits right now, it's going to be quite some time. Now, could things change? They could. But as everything sits right now, it's it it's going to be it, it's going to be um, um I don't see a date coming in that he'll be able to travel. I, I hope that's helpful, love. Yes, uh, what are conditions? What if I a phone call? Okay, let me just one second here. That's all. Um, I'm not sure about the phone call. You know, I just, I'm going to say this, and I, I don't want to go too deep into it, but I feel like there's something going on, some circumstance or something going on in his life that you're really not aware of that is preventing maybe you are aware of it but i don't know but there's something going on in his life that is preventing connection between the two of you but i want to tell you what's going on in his life is his choice it's not beyond his personal circumstances it's a choice he's making that is preventing the reaching out or the, the communicating or the coming to see you. It's, it's a choice he's consciously making. Okay, love. Yes. Um, I, I hope that we, we, we can reunite in the future. That's the, that's the last thing I want to ask you. And here's what I'm going to say. Probably... It's okay. And, and don't hang up, even though I'm going to mute you because it's never the last thing. <laughs> And that's not personal to you. Everybody thinks everybody thinks it's going to be the last thing, and then I say something, and then there's another thing, and I just have to mute people to cut them off so they they don't keep asking questions because I don't I don't always have the heart to like cut it after that first question. So instead, I'll just start muting people to be fair to everybody else that is waiting. Um, don't don't wait on this person okay whatever the circumstances were don't wait don't think about them completely move on with your life if at some point it comes back around great if it doesn't just you've already moved on with your life and and um and keep going okay I just feel like I need to say that to you because that is the message that they are giving you. Don't worry about if or when this person may reconnect with you. Um, 
And again, in the beginning of the show, sometimes people are dropping out of our lives so that we can move forward to where we are supposed to be, okay? And with the people that we're supposed to be with. Um, sometimes sometimes the angels or the whatever you want to call it, God, the universe, will take people out of our lives to put the right people in, whether it's work, um, friends, partners, whatever it is, if you're no longer in alignment with those people, if you're moving up or even somebody's moving down, you're moving up, you can't have a cohesive, good relationship if you're not in alignment with those people. There will always be static, like just it will not be complimentary or good and you you just have to just say it's okay because i'm just i have to keep moving forward for myself i have to keep moving up for myself and i have to let go of what no longer is moving up also or that what whatever the way it is okay um and moving up doesn't make one person better than another person it's just the playground we're choosing to play on at this particular time in our life. So if somebody is playing on a playground of like um, going out every night and having fun and drinking and making those choices, that doesn't make them a bad person or make them wrong, okay, as long as they're not hurting anybody. Um, that's that might not be the playground you're choosing to play on. Maybe you want to play on the playground of I'm meditating and becoming more in alignment or I'm just focusing on my business and opening my business. I don't have time for that. Well, then for that time, that's that's going to be like a separation. OK, I'm going to go to the next um, question on. Um, <clears throat> Is that that chicken dance again? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze. I'm trying to like go through like everybody who is commenting on things and thank everybody. Thank you everybody on uh, YouTube for all the beautiful comments about um, the channeling. Um, there we go. I'm back at the bottom again. I'm just going to go up and and go. Um, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Where, welcome to the show. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Please don't be upset with me, anybody. Um, just a comment that since 8675309 came through, I hear it in the car all the time. <laughs> oh, that was Kate. Okay, Aaron, what career will bring me my life? The most abundance. Okay, Aaron, give me a couple of choices. Like, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? I know, I know one thing I'm hearing, but I want to know. I'm, I'm thinking about this, this, or this, and I'll tell you out of those choices which one is going to bring you the most abundance in your life. Okay, and I will say this before you even list those, Aaron. It's the one that you're the most passionate about because what you're passionate about, you're willing to do the work on. You'll find all different ways of promoting it and doing it. And, and that's what I'm going to say to start with. So Aaron, please um, put that in there, um, what you're choosing between, and I will let you know which one is the strongest for you. But I hear, I do hear Aaron, I'm going to say this and I know I don't even know if this is on your list but um but I hear real estate, some sort of real estate that doesn't always mean realtor. It can mean mortgage, real estate, of buying properties and renting them out. Whatever that means for you, I don't know. Um 520 520, what's your name and where are you calling from? What? Hello. Hello. Hey there. Not up. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. My name is Joe. I'm calling from Arizona. Hey, Joe. How can I help you today? Uh, my question is, is I've 
feel a change coming up, uh, but I don't know exactly what it may be. Uh, but it's possibly a move in the fall or a job change or both. I was wondering if you could provide any insight on that. So the first thing I heard, Joe, was career, career, career. When you started saying, I, I feel a change coming up, I heard career, job, career, job. So I do feel like there's going to be a change and I'm... <clears throat> I'm hearing field. So it could be a change in your career field in general. Like if you work in this field, it could be changing. The whole field could be changing or the way they do things could be changing. Um, but you could also be changing career fields, completely jumping careers. There is a huge switch coming in with your career. I feel like you're going to be if I'm getting this correctly, and remember, you have free will. I can say whatever I'm going to say, but at the end of the day, at the beginning of the morning, you have to get up and put your pants on and make the moves to do whatever it is that spirit is guiding you to do. And what I'm hearing is you're going to, you're, you, an opportunity like a gateway is opening for you to completely switch careers and start something completely, um, outside of what you've been doing into something completely new. I do feel like um, there may be some training that goes with this in some way. I'm not sure what that is. And um, I would say that get ready because it might be coming in a little bit sooner than you think. And what I am going to say also is that when you may hear like, you may, somebody may say to you, oh, I do this for a living. And you go, oh my God, that's exactly what I want to do. How did you get into this? Where did you learn this? Or somebody may be like, for example, one time after um, my um, ankle break, a friend of mine took me to this woman who did this healing work. And the first thing I said to her before she even started it, it just blurted out of my mouth is I need to do this work. Where can I learn to do it? How do I, how do I learn this? And I don't even think she had started doing the work yet, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember all the details, but I'm going to tell you whatever it is, it might be something like that, but I think it's also something you've already been thinking about something that's already like you've at least been thinking about the general area of it. Now it's going to get a little bit more exact for you. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's that's very, very um, helpful for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 914. 914, what's your name? 914, 914, what's your name? Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. How can I help you? What's your name, love? Yes, it's Catherine from New York. Okay, Catherine, how can I help you today? Um, I have an issue that I'm trying to help my mom with. Um, and I got a lawyer for her. Her name, His name is David. Um, I was just wondering if you see the case going her way. I'm a bit involved in it too, but it's more her issue. I'm just wondering if you see this issue resolved. It's, it's been a, a while and it's been such a, a drain on my mom and myself. It's, it's really frustrating if you see any kind of improvement through yeah. this lawyer, anything at all. I appreciate it. Okay, so I hear there is going to be a resolve. Um, really briefly or like what what is this case about just like one or two words what the case is about um solar panels i'm, I'm sorry solar panels solar panels okay the company's name okay. starts with the t that's okay yeah. as soon as you said solar panels i heard thank you for saying that by the way as soon as you said that I heard she'll win. Whatever that means, she'll win. That's what I'm hearing. Um, the facts, I, I, what I I'm hearing. catch it. I'm sorry. Um, 
what as soon as I you just heard with as soon as you said solar panels i heard she'll win um the facts are the facts and she has like the facts behind her so she's going to win this is basically what i'm hearing whatever's going on she'll, oh fantastic yeah she'll be very victorious just the facts i just keep hearing the facts are the facts so the facts are the facts okay love yes <laughs> yes i've given my lawyer like a hundred documents i uh, i feel bad he's probably like inundated from <laughs> No, it, I'm about to send them more. So, yeah. Well, remember, remember, they get paid um, for every word they read. So be careful how much you send. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they don't mind you sending them a million documents because they get paid to sit and read them and they get paid their regular rate. So send what's pertinent. Okay, love, only what's pertinent. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I have to send him one more though. Yeah, I, That's I think fine. yeah, I think one more I have to send. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling in. I'm oh, really grateful for you. that. You are welcome. Thank you again and have an amazing Oh, sorry about that. Thank you and have an amazing day. Um Aaron says, "Yes, I've been looking into real estate." Okay, so there. Excellent, Aaron. You are looking into the right area because I did hear real estate. Uh, I don't own anything. I do want a real estate portfolio that would support me. I want to make owning real estate or an online business my career. Okay. I feel like Aaron, um, you're going to have both. I'm just going to say you're going to have both. What's going to happen here. You're going to have to be extremely disciplined and you're going to have to feel um, you're going to have to be extremely disciplined and you're going to have to make very strategic moves. I do. I do see Aaron. There is the possibility for you to get a multi-unit property. I do believe it might be a fourplex. I don't know when this might be now. This might be, you know, after you get a couple of properties, but I want you to look up programs programs that work with women to help them get properties or multi-unit properties i know there are programs that will help you like bring your down down payment really low or help with the it's like an like a, a program that will assist you in buying a multi-unit property. And then <clears throat> as soon as you become or get a multi-unit property or rent out property, please um, know all the laws in your area for property, like being a landlord. Um, and try to stay out 90 of, seconds. Stay in areas that are comfortable for you. That's the whole way I'm going to say that. And that's, that's where I'm going to leave that. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here today. I will be back on Monday for at noon central for another show. Please join in. You can call in. You can, um, Join the chat. If I did not get to your question, 60 seconds. please uh, come back on Monday um, and I will try to get to you then. I love each and ever, every one of you so very, very much. Have an amazing, an amazing rest of the week and 